Huh, so this is Wellgrove. This is where I'm supposed to find that Auron fella, richest noble in the West. Right, time to put on my best smile and charge on in. You just wait, Auron. I'm coming to find you. Huh. I heard this was the most hopping commerce hub in all the continent, but kinda quiet here, ain't it? barely see a soul. Well, might as well check out the town while I try to find this Alron. Excuse me, can I interest you in a statue made of the purest silver? It's a genuine Ores Rush article, and I've got the appraisal papers to prove it. Wow, it's beautiful. How much? Each of these is currently going at the low, low price of 500,000 leaves. <laughs> I'd pass if I were you. Genuine silver? Ah, bunch of hogwash. <laughs> How dare you! That's a baseless claim! Real silver's deadly. Leave it out in the sun and it blackens. It ain't sparkling or darkening, so it's probably just a bunch of scrap iron. Just who are you? Particio, at your service. A simple traveling merchant who hails from Ores Rush. This is what real Ores Rush silver looks like. Don't forget it. Damn. I owe you one. It seems you have a wealth of knowledge at your disposal. Of course I do. Erudition is the heart and soul of commerce. Spoken like a true merchant. Please, let me treat you to a drink as a token of my thanks. How about a shot of spirits? Our town is renowned for its drink. Ooh, that sounds mighty nice. Sure. Uh, by the by, were you uh, searching for something back there? No, nothing in particular. Just a spot of treasure hunting. I stop by the stalls now and then, hoping to find one. Not that I have an eye for it. Ah, that's a worthy pastime. No one's born with an eye for value. You gotta train. I've lived in this town for a long time, you know. Once upon a time, it was filled with happy people and fine goods. It was a lively place. The times, they're always changing, huh? I wish the only spirits that went down the hatch in our town were the drinks. Particio, why did you come here? I'm looking for someone. Goes by the name of Alron. The Alron? <laughs> He's one of the wealthiest people in all the West. I hear he wipes his backside with silk handkerchiefs. Silk kerchiefs? <laughs> I couldn't afford to do that if I spent all my days mining silk. Think he'd be willing to sell those kerchiefs? I'd even buy them used. Ew. Look, what I'm trying to say is, he lives in a different world from the rest of us. His time's too valuable to meet with just anybody. Unless you prove your worth, you're out of luck. Yeah, makes sense. Man cleans his rump with silk. Still, I wish I knew how to get in contact with him. I may know a way. But Alrond knows business like a refined palate knows foie gras. 
he might agree to meet with you, if you had some distinguished achievement to point to. Hmm, that's so. And that's about the size of it. Unbelievable. A vessel from the Tropu Hopu shipyard, you say? The last head shipwright was a legend, renowned the world over for his craft. Songs were sung about the beauty of his ships, and rumor is they sped across the waves like a swallow in flight. The richest merchants in the world begged him to build them a vessel. Yet he refused to work for anyone except those he deemed worthy. I'm in awe that you managed to convince that shipyard to furnish you with a craft. You really are a true merchant. I'm sure Alrond will feel the same. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I'll be sure to get in touch with him for you. Come to his estate later, and all will be made ready. You'll find it atop the hill in the northern part of town. Well then, I just hope my discerning customer bites. Time to head to Alron's estate to see if my hard work paid off. Richest noble in the West, huh? Guess that wasn't an exaggeration. Come to think of it, I wonder how that young fella knows Alron. Master Particio, I take it. Word has reached me you would be coming. The Master's study is this way. If you'd follow me. Uh, uh, thank you. This way, please. Huh, you're that fella from earlier. Funny meeting you here. Get lost or something? Lost? <laughs> you really are an intriguing man, Particio. Intriguing enough to win an audience with the master of this house. Welcome to my manor, Particio. I am none other than Alrond himself. Wait, hold on. What? Y you're Alrond? But who? What? Why? Don't think ill of me, Particio. I had my reasons to disguise myself as the everyman. As one of the wealthiest people on the continent, I find that most put on a false mask when speaking to me. It's much easier to judge someone's true character by how they treat you when they think you're nothing special. Oh, I see. I often tell the young master that his penchant for disguise is in poor taste, but he never listens to me. Forgive me my indulgences, Misha. You have proven yourself a cut above the common merchant, Particio. That is why I have invited you here. 
Now, you said you had business with me. Looking for money, I assume. Particio, are you like all the others? Come, speak your piece. Well, you've got me pegged, so I'll get straight to the point. I want to buy the rights to the steam engine, and I need capital to do it. Steam engine, you say? Pursuing the latest trends, are we? I have my eye on it as well. The coming era will be an age of steam, if I read the future right. Yep, it's got a lot of power and a lot of potential to make the world a better place. Problem is, the fellow who owns the rights to it ain't interested in using it for the people's benefit. I'm a merchant, that's true, but I believe there's something out there more valuable than wealth. People's happiness. I want to be in the business of trading bliss. So, I figured I'd buy up the rights to the steam engine so I could share the wealth, so to speak. An interesting proposal indeed. I assume your purchase has a price tag? 80 billion leaves. Uh, 80 billion? That is certainly not cheap. And yet your proposal bears consideration. But, but sir! Uh, the steam engine will make jobs, lots of jobs for all sorts of folk. Especially for those who don't have the means to earn a living wage. If I have my way, the steam engine will help all those troubled folks make enough to feed their families. That way, the world will be a better, happier, more prosperous place. So, Alrond, what do you say? Want to invest in my dream for the future? Particio, you truly are a charismatic individual. However, my purse strings do not come undone for a smile and a song. Before I invest, I need a closer appraisal of your caliber. Uh, do you want me to take my shirt off or something? Uh, no. Please, stay dressed. But if you remove something... Let it be the veneer off Wellgrove. Once, this town was filled with energy and laughter. But market forces shifted, and an economic depression settled upon this once prosperous town. It was my father who put the final nail in the coffin that was Wellgrove's economy. How'd he do that? He threw money at the problem, in the hopes of turning this town's fortunes around. What do you think all the townsfolk did when he gave them hefty sums of leaves for free? Some stopped bothering to work. Others took the money and moved far away. All the while, our town declined. In the end, money had no power for positive change here. <sighs> so I want you to revitalize this dying town, Particio. If you can do that, I'll invest in your brighter tomorrow. However, you will not see a single leaf from me until you complete this task. Hmm. I accept your challenge. I'll fix up your town for you, and I'll give it all I got. Good. I expect great things from you. Righto. Time to head down to the market and see what I can do.
carpets, rugs, mats. Low prices, friends. Low prices. Ugh. Whoa there. You look like you need a nap, fella. Let me see your merchandise. Oh, these are fine quality wires. Let me try hawking them. I'll sell them for twice the price, guaranteed. Howdy there, miss. Have I got a deal for you. See this here carpet? It's not just any old rug. Feast your eyes on this pattern. Seem familiar? It's Timberane's own symbol. This is a high quality, first class national product. What's all the hubbub? Not only that, it's going for a one time only bargain price. Miss this chance to buy and you'll regret it. I'll take one. Me too. <laughs> Thank y'all for the patronage. Impressed? I sold those mats for twice your initial price. Y you're something else. Are you... The god of commerce? The falcon, the traitor himself? <laughs> no. Simple fact is, no one will want to buy from a merchant who looks gloomier in a rainy day. Have confidence in the quality of your own goods, and the customers will gather like flies to honey. Wow. I feel like a whole new merchant. Huh. I've got a handle on this pickle now. These merchants lack the fiery passion needed to tug at customers' hearts and their purse strings. But get enough sparks together and you've got yourself a good old bonfire. To lay down some tinder, how about I get all the shops in one place? If I can spruce up some abandoned storefront to host them, why? Yeah, that's the ticket. This'll work for sure. Of course, I need the right marketplace to spruce. Huh? Hang on. Excuse me! Huh, looks like this place is abandoned. Ah, that makes it ideal for my scheme. Righty then, time to put my refurbishing boots on. When I'm done with the place, customers will swarm in here for sure. I've got all my plans settled. All that's left is to recruit the merchants.
How about this spot, Porticio? Huh. Entrance is too narrow. Let's take down this here wall. That'll fix it so customers can step on in all lively like. You got it. Interesting. So you plan to have all the traders gather into one centralized marketplace. A fascinating idea. In fact, it may birth a new commercial concept entirely. <laughs> I've already come up with a name. Alron's Department Store. Ah, because each shop is in its own department within the greater whole. You have a fine sense for naming. Don't I just, Mr. Alron, sir. Enough of that. Alrond will do just fine. Particio! I've heard the news! I've heard all the news! Ah, what holds you crawl out of Scrivener? The scoop hole! Wherever there's a story, there's a Scrivener! The Fire of Hope flares anew in dilapidated commercial district! Traveling merchant Particio does it again! The flag of a new business unfurls! Let me handle the promotion for this amazing enterprise, Particio! Oh, you do that for me? You betcha! I have a brother, you know. He's got this line he loves bringing out. The world's filled with people groaning under the weight of a thousand problems. It's fresh ideas like yours that bring a ray of joy into troubled lives. In short, I want to help. After all, I became a Scrivener to spread good news. Not bad. <laughs> In that regard, I'm a lot like you, Particio. Ori, you're good folk, you know that? Here, this one's on the house. A pre-opening present for a fine rider. Really? Thanks! I'll be sure to bring my fanciest words to bear. Life seems to be returning to my town. Thank you kindly, everyone. This place is looking fine and fresh because of all y'all. There's only one issue left. Yeah, our shelves are looking melancholy and bare. So, how are we supposed to stock all the various goods to make this place a success? Ah, uh, no worries on that frontier. I'll go gather up the goods myself. Y'all see to the finishing touches while I'm out and about. You got it! Uh, this will be a fine store for sure. <laughs> I got the feeling I was being watched just now. Ah, must have been my imagination. Now, on to business. What does a department store like ours need? I'm sure I can gather something good from the towns I've visited up till now. Right. First stop is... there. Hello again, Tropu Hopu. 
Now, what should I stock up on here? Tropo Hopu coffee is the finest in the land. You said it. I hear even the king sips a cup every morning. Oh, coffee. You don't say. The rich aroma of brewing coffee should pull in customers by the score. Righty then. Coffee beans it is for the shop's first showpiece wear. Thanks for the business, friend. I appreciate it. Next stop, Clock Bank. It'll be nice to see Floyd's smiling face again. Look who it is, Porticio. Hey, how's it going? Fantastic, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Now, mind if I ask a question? Not at all. For you, I'd be happy to field a hundred. I'm trying to find this town's specialty problem. Got any leads for me? Hmm. Why not pocket watches? I didn't know there were clocks so small they fit in your pocket. There are. Perhaps you could tell by the clock tower, but our town has a close relationship with things that tick in any form. Well, that settles it then, Floyd. Our second showpiece wear will be clock bank pocket watches. Right then, time to make arrangements for my final major wear. Back to where all this began, Ores Rush. <laughs> well, if it isn't my boy, where have you been? Couldn't even send your old pops a letter? Of course you couldn't. Now, what brings you back? <laughs> Trade, what else, pops? I've come with a business proposal for you. A business proposal? A good one, I take it? Sure is. I'm setting up a shop that stocks the world's wares. Al Ron's department store is the name. I'm here to buy our finest sterling for sale on its shelves. Uh, hmm. Sounds like an interesting enterprise. You got it, son. I'll part with Ors Rush's finest silver work. Thank you kindly, Pops. There, I've got enough to stock all our shelves now. Time to head back to the shop and get ready to open. Yeehaw! Things are heating up here. Time to report back to Alron and let him know the good news. <laughs> I bet his jaw will drop in surprise when he hears. Hmm. I finally tracked you down, Particio.
Oh, what's this now? Fog? Weather's all wrong for a fog bank to roll on through. Oh, there. Alron's manor's gone white as a ghost. What in tarnation's going on? It's even misty inside. Uh, this fog, it ain't right. Dang, fog's everywhere. Master Farticio. Uh, you all right? Stay with me, fella. Um, man. He appeared out of the mist with a strange device. He... He attacked me. That's rotten. Where'd he go? To Master Alron's room. I failed him. I should have stopped the intruder. Porticio, please. Leave it to me. I'll deal with that suspicious sneak. Hold on, Alron. I'm coming. Alrond! Particio, stay back! There's something hiding in this fog! Uh, there, there is? It's too dangerous! Leave me! Run! Sorry, Alrond. I can't do that. I never turn my back when there's an enemy lurking about. Still, it's hot as high noon here. Oh, this mist. I could swear I've seen its lack before. I, I got it. This ain't mist nor fog. It's steam. But why is there steam in here? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. some varmint sneaking around using the steam to hide, eh? I don't know who or what you are, but didn't your parents teach you any manners? I don't care if you're some sort of fog monster or what. I'm ready to fight. Come on! Sneak, little devil. My turn. as ever, you idealistic bumpkin! Because of you, I... I... 
I was fired. Rock gave me the axe. Me! Huh? He did? You ruined my life, Articio. So I'll kill you and put a stop to your pathetic little business deal with Alrond. That will get me back in Rock's good graces. It has to. I don't get what's got your britches in a twist, but I've never turned down a brawl. A word of warning, I never hold back in a fight, neither. <laughs> My turn. My place sinks. Cleaning time. <sighs> Here goes. I got I don't know the meaning of the word mercy. Let's get to work. <laughs> Maybe next time. I... I've been foiled. You don't feel a lick of remorse for what you've done, do you? Listen, the reason Mr. Rock gave you the boot was because you were playing dirty. No. No. But I'm a forgiving sort, so let me give you a chance to set matters right. You're hired, fella, if you want the job. Excuse me? Of course, I gotta kick that offer down the line a bit. I don't have the funds to pay you yet. But once I buy the rights to the steam engine from Mr. Rock, You've got a place working for me. What a joke. You don't really believe you can produce 80 billion, do you? Who knows for sure? Still, I believe I can do it. In the end, a person can't achieve nothing unless they got faith in themselves. <sighs> You're a man of unnatural tenacity. That's a talent. You'd make a good worker, for sure. Just you wait a little while, Thurston. I promise, the day'll come when I can give you a job. I... I admit defeat. You have a risk-friendly approach to life, don't you? I don't doubt you'd hire anyone off the street, no matter their credentials or background. Everyone's got a job they're suited for. Only problem's figuring out what that is. Oh, by the by, I came to let you know how the store's doing. Oh? I've been eagerly awaiting news. How's business? <laughs> Try to keep your socks on, but... Feast your eyes on this, a genuine clock bank pocket watch. As part of our opening sale, we're offering two for the price of one. Act now, they're going fast. I'll take one. Oh, me too, me too. Uh, this deal's gonna bankrupt me, but what the heck. Go on and take it, you thieves. Oh, my. This energy, this verve. Wellgrove has returned to the hustle and bustle of better days. What magic did you work to achieve this, Particio? <laughs> simple. First magic spell was a simple policy. Sell high-quality goods on the cheap. By centralizing the destination for our suppliers, uh, that's this place. 
with simplified logistics and enabled transportation en masse. That lowers the cost of said transport, meaning we can sell better goods for cheaper. Spell number two, this department store itself. The convenience of having all these goods in one place means people stop by loads of stores and buy more, more, more. In short, we built the place so lots of folks can and want to shop here. It's bound to make it livelier than a rodeo. These two simple ideas are what's generating all that energy. <laughs> that and a dash of passion. I wish my father could have been here to see this. Thank you, Articio. This more than proves your worth. As promised, here is my end of the bargain. Eighty billion leaves. Uh, wh what's this little thing? A check. A promissory note that you can exchange for legal tender. I figured it would be rather hard to carry around 80 billion in coin. Oh, good point, I guess. Hmm? If you are dissatisfied, I can throw some silk into the bargain. Uh, no, no, I, I trust you at your word, Alron. Oh, right. We should draw up a contract for this loan. Promise that I'll pay you back. Not necessary. You've already given me a down payment. But that's just my calling card. Single silver leaf. Indubitably. This is a symbol. A promise that no mere paper can equal. Alron. Alrighty then. Time to swing on over to Mr. Rock's place. And buy up that steam engine. If I may ask, do you really intend to sign a deal with Rock? I do not expect a businessman of his caliber to simply hand over the steam engine willingly. Huh. A word of warning. Do not trust that man, Particio. You would do well to ponder how he will react to your proposal and plan accordingly. Thanks for the warning, Alron. Much appreciated. Particio, hello there. Yeah, Ori. Oh, seriously, where do you keep coming from? Not important. Have I got a scoop for you? Magnate Rock has released a proclamation! A big announcement is coming regarding the steam engine! Massive, earth-shaking! Uh, suspicious timing. Wonder what he's up to. Huh. Hope he didn't get tired of waiting for me and made some wild play while I was out beating the bushes. Uh, might as well head on over and see what all the fuss is about. Wait a sec! Does that mean you've collected the dough? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Big scoops are falling from the sky today! Wait until my brother hears about this! I believed in you from the start, Particio! Hey, don't leave! I wasn't finished yet! The proclamation will be made on Rock's very own private island. Rock Island! It's private property, so there are no ferries. You'll need a ship to get there. <laughs> well, I already got my own vessel. It's a fine vessel, too. Purchased fair and square from Terra. 